The following is a fan based narrative. Please support the official release. Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. In what world does a teleporter get here after everyone else? Like, she's running, so I guess she didn't teleport for some reason, but if this is such a high-level issue, why didn't she? Oh good, we're all here. So every pony got an urgent summons to the castle with no explanation? Wow, Canterlot suddenly became 90% walls this season. Glad he decided to finally build that wall and keep out the changelings, but uh, I'm going to have to dog points because there's literally no guards anywhere on it, despite having a drawbridge. I like it when he runs so fast, the walls get all blurry! Grace ya! Rainbow Dash blows past them, yet they still get there at the same time. Girls, thank you so much for coming. Ten years, that's how long it took them to give Luna a chair. Because of your efforts, there's been less and less for us to do. No, there hasn't been less. You've just literally done less. My little pony, my little pony. Ten years, and we haven't changed the intro song. And for some reason, no new intro either. Kind of disappointed, but maybe next episode. Makes perfect sense. We're awesome. <gasps> Does this mean we get all your powers? Ooh, ooh. I got them on showing up in every pony's dreams. Yeah, no, it really doesn't make sense since you don't get their powers or the knowledge about their past enemies. Who's raising the sun? Who's regulating the dreams? And defeating foes is far different than having a foreign trade policy. The friendship journal you wrote yourselves is a better guide than any we could provide. The journal that they abandoned writing? Like, halfway through it? Like, them rebuilding the castle? This is all so predictable. Now's the part where you all tell little Sparkle here that everything is going to be fine, but she won't believe you. Oh, Pointing out your writing is predictable doesn't absolve you of it being bad writing. But this is a big deal! What do we do if something big happens and the princesses aren't there to help? Um, if you think about it, they literally almost never help. Again, that doesn't make it right. What about it, they... the glow in the school! <gasps> Am I missing anything? Pony of Shadows, Starlight when she was evil, Discord when he was evil. To be fair, the Pony of Shadows was mainly defeated by Twilight. You kind of just failed with the Storm King as well. That was a murder-suicide pack. One day, you'll see. I will defeat Twilight, Sparkle, and her friends. And they will pay for stealing my kingdom! Chrysalis goes full party of one in the forest. And they will... Psst, t it is Lord T-Rex. Whoa, wait. It's been 120 days since Cozy has been in prison. I'm assuming that since we didn't see these marks before, right? So who's feeding her? And where are her parents? And I guess double that number from this shot. Guess there's no protection of children in this world. And again, Luna, it's the time to kidnap kids in the middle of the night to take them away to her own magical little Neverland. And we all know how that turns out. I just want to make sure you can see my best friend's rock sculpture from over there. Somehow she gathered colored rocks or paints and tools to build this and was able to somehow push it out of her gauge. Chrysalis, queen of the changelings, or at least I will be when I'm restored to my rightful place. Why did you summon me? What do you want? I honestly have to say the villain interaction here is amazing and Chrissy's crazy frantic ravings add a lot to this scene. Fine, I'll actually take away a sin. So Sombra can freely go into his shadow form, but it's the same as when everyone got transported. So did Groger free Sombra in order to do this or are they just using the same powers? It's really never touched upon or explained. I have also heard of the first Emperor of Equestria, the father of monsters. Well, so you can talk now? We're just going to ignore that. No one's going to address the fact that he's not speaking in gargles and growls anymore. We're going with that voice. Really? All right, then. Um, T-Rex is really old. No offense, you look great. But if he knew about you when he was young, we have super different ideas about what temporarily means. Cozy would be great at this because she's absolutely right. Because they are annoyingly lucky. I mean, they are incredibly lucky. 
but I just call that plot armor. It is because they work together. Where one is weak, another is strong. What about Sombra? He was defeated before the main six were even born. And Crystalis had an army working together. And actually, t rex was defeated way, way before everyone else as well. Go! Try to take back your kingdom. But when you fail, you will submit to me. He makes like it seems like if he fails, he would be bringing him back, but he just lets Sombra die or gets into the Shadow Realm, which is the four kids version of death. You two are in luck because I know all about that. Child abuse in a Y7 show. Starlight, you have blossomed into one of the strongest, smartest, most caring ponies I know, and I can't think of any pony better to leave in charge of my castle and the school's friendship. So what do you think? You know, within the last year, she brainwashed all your to be more convenient for her, right? Like, this is the person you're putting in charge of children. <laughs> but if the Crystal Heart kept everything at bay, then why is he able to just walk right in here now? The guard says Sombra's breached the castle. Hurry, Twilight. We need you. Shouldn't Cadence also give up the throne? I mean, let's be honest. She's done even less than Celestia. <laughs> Apparently, Sombra knew about the child somehow and decided to attack her first. Though it seems like he already could have taken them all out easily enough beforehand. Maybe he's using her as a human shield. That still requires him to have prior knowledge beforehand and to actually be intimidated by them. Dolge fire! Kneel before Sombra. I've seen enough hair, Amanda May, to know where this one is going. Thanks for coming so quickly. <laughs> sure thing, but if you're going to... So teleporting does cause collision, I guess. Kind of makes you wonder why Twilight teleports to places without knowing what's there. Shouldn't somebody tell Celestia and Luna? Ooh, good point. One of us should probably loop in the real rulers of Equestria. The ruler who never did anything. And again, you've already handled all of this on your own before. Last time we defeated Sombra with the Crystal Heart. What if he has it already? How are we gonna stop him? With the elements of harmony. It took you that long to remember the magic MacGuffin you almost always used before. Starlight, can you stay here and take care of the school? I've got you covered. Take care of what part of the school? There's no one here. Are you afraid the castle is going to grow legs and walk away? Honestly, at this point, it's believable. They start running only to teleport away. Why? It was more work to animate that than anything else. So it was so weak, Spike's fire broke it after literally two seconds, but not Flurry's magic. So it stops everything afterwards, but doesn't prevent it from happening beforehand. What kind of security system is this? You have to reset it in order to dispel anything? Everyone's gangster after the element of harmony saves the day. But that was fun! And easy! I mean, most of your battles would be easy without the filler most episodes have. Let's be honest. You get the elements, you, you brainwash them, or you disintegrate them, and uh, you go home. <laughs> so is this the equestrian version of Burger King foot lettuce? <laughs> yeah, but Luna did it better. There's so many gaps here, you can literally just walk through it. I've seen enough hentai to know where this one is going. But there's no point. My conquering Ponyville is already your greatest fear. <laughs> Okay, but why? You could have secured the victory. Instead of giving them a chance to win, this is why you lose. This is why they all lose. Are those sweet little cake twins? Or Spike? Or Starlight? Rainbow Dash mentioned Spikes before Scootily. But right now, show me the money! Literally impossible, but this is a show about talking techno-colored horses. We made them bake a black licorice fruitcake that says congratulations to our favorite Supreme Emperor King Sombra and Green Frosty! It's the ugliest cake I've ever seen! 
There is literally no writing on that cake. Also, it's not in a box and it's exposed to the elements. Doesn't really seem like it's hygienic at all. With the Tree of Harmony gone, the Everfree Forest could grow out of control and threaten the town! Wait, but didn't the Tree of Harmony turn into the castle? So isn't it still around? Isn't there like an entire facility underneath the school where the Tree of Harmony kidnapped the kids? So what? Who would win? Literally a mythical, magical force beyond time and aging. Or one shovely boy. Just realized this, but isn't this like Sunset Shimmer's exact plan from the first EQG movie? Instead of brainwashing teens, they brainwashed like normal civilians, which, you know what? Actually makes more sense. You! Break it down! Because Big Mac is stronger than Sombra's magic. They fled. Celestia and Luna are too cowardly to even stand against me. Equestria is mine! So for all the villains who plan on taking over the world, do they ever have a plan about racing the sun and the moon? Are those two giant things that need to be done? No pony is meant to handle this on their own. Star Swirl, the Tree of Harmony, it's... I know. So what about the other pillars? Did they just it's... ignore all of this, or what? <laughs> yeah! Why is this a shock? You literally saw this. Dash's plan was literally just avoiding fighting by flying over, and Twilight later just teleports them, with the excuse that they wanted to find a way to save them. But defeating Sombra would have literally have done that. So this entire scene is pointless. Is this is this actually just filler? A little less talking and a little more helping. The hallway must be super long, or these ponies are really slow if they haven't gotten to him during this speech. Well, I guess it's on me to be the MVP today. I was betting on you, and I do hate being wrong. If it didn't work the first five times, just keep on doing it over and over. Surely, it will work the 90th time you do it. This throw is even more obvious than Celestia. Listen to me. You don't need me. You don't need the princesses, and you certainly don't need the elements. <laughs> Sombra just watches his Discord give some the encouraging the speech to make them stronger. Because reasons. I destroyed the source of your power! So doesn't channeling the elements internally still count as using the elements? So they still used it to win. So nothing changed. They didn't learn anything. They didn't evolve. They literally just used the same magic MacGuffin. They've also done this before. I know what you're gonna say. I should have called on you as soon as I knew how dangerous it was. Call on them to do what? What did they ever do? Equestria deserves some pony much better than me as its leader. You're right. Oh. Celestia is being right. misleading simply to be a dick. Oh. Not ready? So Twilight's not taking over? This was all for nothing? Discord has the same reaction most of the fandom should have right now. This was a total cock tease, albeit a great one, but still a tease. I'd say he gambled and lost. Was it a gamble though? I mean, at this point, it was suicide. He literally brought this on himself.